Hi, my name is David Florian, aka Dr. DFlo, and I'm here with my team, Jeff and Elise. And with the holiday season rapidly approaching, we wanted to come up with a classy but unique technology-based gift for someone special. And we stumbled on uh, this project, it's known as Nixie Tube Clocks, and they're really cool because they combine old and new technology. Old because these tubes were used by the Soviet Union in the 1960s and 1970s as digital readouts for the first computers. And new because they're, um, they're controlled by these microprocessors. The only problem though is that these Nixie Tubes require a very high voltage to actually work. Ah, oof, oh man. Did you? <laughs> Shock yourself. <laughs> These boards are actually quite dangerous, but the, the thing is the casings are so expensive. We're going to try and cut some costs. How are we going to do that at least? But we, we still want to keep it classy. I think that we should make a little competition out of it. Maybe go antiquing, find some cool materials, and then see who can design the best casing for these guys so we can protect Jeff from getting hurt again. Yeah, yeah. That's a serious concern. Yeah. But we're all extremely competitive. So we're going to have three uh, ground rules. The first is $50 maximum, to really to keep costs down. Because these boards are already a little bit expensive, they run about $150. Two. Can I use No. Only US, USD. Two. Eight hours maximum. And what can we use to keep track of time? These bad boys these right ba here. These bad boys right there. <laughs> and the third thing is, is that the case has to protect the um, Nixie Tube clock on all six sides. So. The top needs to come up to about the white plastic just so that we can protect the gift recipient from the high voltage PCB. Right. We want to make sure no one gets hurt again. Exactly. Yep. So what do we say? We say... In Russia. That's <laughs> Navroya. We're not in Russia. <laughs> not Russia. I think you mispronounced it. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so update, we went to a couple antique stores and it was like $4,000 yeah. for a box. So, we think antique was the wrong word. Uh, no, antique is fine. We just need, uh, we need like, yeah, repurpose. Re repurpose, yeah. I know. Alright, all right, just imagine this. TV, you take out the screen, and you have the clock. I mean, I'm trying to keep... $35. I know. I'm trying to keep mine a little bit more low profile. Okay, okay, so briefcase. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so now that we're out of earshot, so my plan is to do something uh, dark wood with possible gold accents, really retro or steampunk to bring out the uh, Nixie Tube clocks. But let's see. Hmm. Now what about this? Oh, that's really cool. Look, it's an old level. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, wouldn't that be, I, think, I feel like that'd be perfect. We could probably just cut off the sides right here and here. You know, just have the level bit. Yeah. CNC the holes. Yeah. How thick is it? So it's gonna be about that thick. Oh, easy. So what we did was we measured out the Nixie tubes and then designed their, um, all their dimensions and then printed them out so we can kind of line them up. And so this box is a little interesting, but it fits this perfectly, and I like painting, so I could always paint it. Interesting. What do you think they can do with all of these? I think these are popular during a uh, Halloween. I kind of like this. It's kind of cool. If my dad were really into cigars, I would do it. I guess it's like a cigar mold. That's cool. Looks kind of cool from the side. I could like sand it down and refinish it. Yeah. But I kind of want to keep this little detailing. Lightness, what are you looking for? Uh, I don't know. I honestly don't know. It, like, I wanted something with a pattern on it. So like, these are just... Give a cigar box. So at the first store, I saw a couple of cool things, but nothing really fit the traditional style I was going for. I was a little worried because my competitors seemed to find some cool stuff, whereas I had found nothing. Jeff likes to shop with one hand in the pocket. <laughs> yes, I do. 
See, oh, the problem is if you don't get wood, you can't cut into it. Right. So that, that that's why it's like really. Um, on the bright side, I still had my fifty dollars left, which means that if I found something cool at the next store we're going to, then that means I'll definitely be able to get it for sure. So I walked in the first antique store and I killed it. I found the perfect case for my Nixie Tube clock, and it turned out to be this old level, and it appeared to be from the same era as Nixie Tube uh, as Nixie Tubes. But I have two concerns. One is that the PCB um, is very close to the width of the level, and also there's this divot that exists in the level, which I need to make sure that my tubes fit behind, um, or else it will not be an even uh, plane. So after leaving the store, I spent $18. So in the first store, I was having a little bit of difficulty at first, but then I found a really cool cigar mold, and I think I'll just open it up and hollow it out so that the Nixie tubes, the PCB can fit right in between the top and the bottom. It's a pretty cool thing, I think, to have a cigar mold and the existing. So I'm thinking about to kind of go along with the whole measurement level theme. I put like, maybe this almost has an arc behind the Nixie tubes as kind of like a background. This is a, an old measuring stick. It's kind of cool how it folds out with the hinges. While searching through the second store, I found this really cool little box, but um, it was made out of metal, which means that it'd be hard to drill through, so I just brush it off right there. Later, Dr. Dflow actually showed me the exact same box, and I realized that I could just open the top and use it as a feature and then use a uh, false wood bottom in order to cover the PCB, satisfying one of the constraints. You don't, you don't have to close it. You can keep it open. And then you and keep the, the gold, clock could be in it. And then the clock in it. Yeah, yeah. And then you could cut just a normal piece of stock wood. Yeah, exactly. And then it'd, That's it'd, so cool. And then yeah. the gold, you'd really see the gold. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's a really good idea. Not what I was going for, but that's, that's uh, still yeah, that's okay. Yeah, you could just like uh, stain. Shouldn't have told that idea. No, we we saw it though. Like if yeah, you hadn't yeah, brought yeah. it up, we just like because we yeah, chalked could, it off because it was metal. And that like, would give you definitely the Asian, I mean, the Asian flair. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's sort of. It would I give, think it, it's gold. It would, it would give you the uh, it's gold. gold is symb symbolic of wealth. Red is yeah. the Chinese color. Okay. <laughs> oh. Hey. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, it doesn't quite fit my original traditional style that I was looking for, but I, the inside, the top, has a gold finish and it fits really well with the Nixie Tube Clock. So I think it would look really good. So I'm getting concerned about my design with you and your box. <laughs> Mine's like the least developed. Thanks for watching. In the next video, we start to work on the clocks. All right, so I'm just finishing up applying the green paint. Jeff, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, that. They call me, call me Dr. D Flow. I tell you I'm the best. Come check out my YouTube channel. I swear you'll be impressed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Dr. D got a nice flow. I be shining like a light show. Now, what's the topic for tonight, though? Uh, it ain't no question I'm super fly Dr. D Flow, he's a super guy Let me show you how to build something on your own, yeah DIY, LED lights, 3D printing We can build it all, yeah, that's a given I talk about it, yeah, cause I love it Hoping that you click on that subscribe button